Yo, yo, what's up guys? This is Spag on Reversal for this week's Replay Takeover. This week's set and reset grand finals was a very close set between the two Germans, Sefi Black and Kaiser Kudlars. Let's deep dive a little bit into the final game they played in the grand finals. Now, one thing that allowed Sefi Black to take this grand finals was specifically how he was able to deal with the silent entry stance of Lars. Now, many people take mix-ups in situations where you don't have to, and we see here how Sefi Black was able to use his movement of sidestep left to beat the silent entry one. Sidestep left also beats many of the other options. We also see Sefi Black use Power Crush here to interrupt the stance too, which was another fantastic option. Now, what could Kaizuka Lars have done to prevent himself being sidestepped? Let's use the replay takeover and find out. Now, sidestep left is a fantastic option to beat most of silent entry. However, it does lose to the three plus four, as you can see here. Now, this move used enough would force the opponent to stop stepping left and would potentially open up the rest of the moves from that stance. Another thing we saw happens all too often in tournament. A huge combo drop from Kaiser Kulaz that would have got him the round. We see him go for the normal down back 2-1 for wall carry, but he gets a weird angle on the walls plan, isn't able to salvage the combo. And then he ended up paying the ultimate price. Now what could he have done to secure the kill? Using the trusty replay takeover, we can see that it would have been an easy kill had he just gone for the rage art. However, if you really wanted the wall carry and wall splat, since there was only a couple of hits, down back 2-1 was not enough for the carry. He should have gone for another down back 2-3, then he would have been able to get a clean wall splat and finish the combo for the kill. And the final thing I want to talk about is just the general way you want to sidestep versus Shaheen. Stepping left in this scenario, Kaizoku Lars would have been able to get a clean launch and close out the round. Of course, Sefi Black did a great job with using homing moves during the set, but stepping in that round end situation would have got Kaizoku the win. All right, ladies and lads, that's it for today's replay takeover. Thanks a lot for watching and make sure that you tune in to Set and Reset on Sundays to see some cool tournament action. And of course, remember to like this video and subscribe for more cool content. We'll see you soon.